Hello. This video will cover how to search the CMU Libraries catalog for full text electronic resources. Let's begin on the library's homepage, library.cmu.edu. On the homepage, in addition to this single search box, you will find links to explore books and media, articles, journals, and advanced search. The books and media link searches the library catalog for physical items such as books and DVDs. It also includes eBooks. The articles link searches for full text articles in scholarly and popular journals. It also searches book reviews and newspaper articles. The journals link allows you to browse journals by subject category or to enter a journal title to see if the university library subscribes to a specific publication. With advanced search, we can pre-limit our search based on specific fields. More on that later. In this video, we're going to focus on the single search box, which is also known as everything search. Everything search is a powerful search tool because it includes physical and electronic materials, including print books, eBooks, journal articles, streaming video, conference proceedings, theses, and even more. First, it's always good practice to log into your library account. Some resources only show results to signed in users. Additionally, you can save search queries and search results when you're logged in. Go to my account and log in with your Andrew ID. I'm already logged in, which is why it didn't ask me to do so again. Now that we're logged in, we've been redirected to a page with a single search box and a section with search tips that gives more details about what is included in our various search options. So the single search box is a basic search. It shows results that contain keywords that match on title, author, subject, or other descriptions. Let's say we're interested in finding research studies related to trends in home office furniture as remote work has become more common. Since we're just getting started, let's keep our search terms broad. Let's enter remote work and furniture. A search for remote work and furniture yields over 86,000 results. That's way too many search results. Remember, everything search is retrieving results from hundreds of online resources, plus the library's print holdings. And simple search is looking for each of our search terms individually in multiple fields. If we add quotation marks around remote work, now we're searching remote work as a phrase. By making this one change, the number of search results is greatly reduced. But over 4,000 results is still a lot, and it indicates we need to make additional revisions to our search terms. Furniture is probably too broad. What if we add another search term? Remember, our research interest is in office furniture, specifically home office furniture. Let's add home office in quotes. search home office as a phrase. Now, the number of results is greatly reduced, though 900 is still a lot. At this point, we could add additional search terms such as trends or design or ergonomics. We can also refine our search results by using filters and sort options. Relevance is the default sorting option. But sorting results by date, like the newest first, can also be useful. Other options under refine your results include availability. This is where we could limit our results to peer reviewed journals only, resource type, which allows us to include 
or exclude types of publications. For example, we could exclude newspaper articles. But for now, let's include all types of resources in our search. But let's definitely limit to peer review. Limiting by date range can also help. Perhaps we're interested in publications from the past two years. Now we've reduced our results to 36, which is much more manageable. But if we're finding that these results aren't quite what we're looking for, we can refine our search results again to be less limiting or change our search terms. But for now, let's switch gears. We're going to reset the filters and try advanced search. With advanced search, we can pre-limit our search based on specific fields, as well as material type and date range and language. Let's clear our previous search and say we want to maybe get a little more specific about what kind of furniture, like we want to see more about uh, the setup of computer workstations when working from home. First, let's search any field for home office in quotes to search as a phrase and the additional terms computer and workstation. Then on the next line, we're going to change any field to subject and search for ergonomics. And let's specify a date range. Let's go back to our 2020 to 2022. By making adjustments to our search by selecting which fields to search for specific terms and setting dates, we've narrowed our results to 50. Scrolling through the article titles, they do seem more relevant to our research interests. But if we wanted to revise our search, all we do is select the down arrow to see our search criteria and make desired changes. You'll see that the first result here is peer reviewed. You can download a PDF or access the article online. If we click on the article title, we will find more information about it, including the number of pages and if you scroll down, a description. There's also a list of subjects. This may be useful for further exploration on a topic. In fact, it might be a good idea to start compiling your own list of relevant subject headings and keywords. There are several useful features worth noting here. Related reading, recommended items that are related to this article are on the right-hand column. If you want to save this article, we can select the thumbtack option, which saves the article to our library account. I already have it selected. If we return to the search results page, we can save our search query and even turn on a notification for the query. We're not gonna do that now. You can find your saved articles and queries by selecting the thumbtack icon or my favorites in the account menu. Notice you can also see your search history. This is our search history. So now you know how to use simple and advanced search to find resources through the library's website. You also know how to refine your results using sort options and filters, such as resource type or date range. Plus, you know how to find related resources. Try a couple of searches on a topic of interest on your own. See how it goes. 
If you have questions about everything search, the Ask Us link to contact us is here. Thanks for watching.